Hello guys and welcome back! If you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm Gaia and I'm your Italian teacher. Today we'll talk about Italian verbs, especially infinitive tense. Italian verbs are divided into three groups called coniugazioni. If you need to search a verb in the dictionary, you must use the infinitive tense. Here are some examples. Mangiare to eat. Bere to drink. Dormire to sleep. Infinitive tense is the verb in its original form and Italian infinitive tense is used in the same cases of English one. The infinitive tense is one of the so-called modi impersonali, that means literally without people, so this tense doesn't have io, tu, egli, noi, voi, essi. It's always the same and actually helps you to conjugate verbs. So, to conjugate a verb, you have to change the ending of the infinitive tense to its correct form depending on the tense you want to use. Present, past, future and the subject doing the action. For example, io, tu, egli. I'd like to let you a screen with all the Italian tenses. In this case, I used mangiare just to explain what I'm saying. If you notice, the first part of all verbs is always the same. All Italian verbs of infinitive tense consist in just one word, so we don't have the equivalent of the to plus a verb. And the majority of Italian verbs at infinitive tense ending in are, ere, or ire. All those verbs ending in are belong to the first group. Prima coniugazione. Second group. Seconda coniugazione for all those verbs that end in ere. And the last group, terza coniugazione, for all those verbs ending in ire. The majority of Italian verbs are regular. This means you have just to change the first part of the verb and the conjugation is always the same. Some verbs instead are irregular and you have to learn or use them to not make mistakes. In the first group there are just four irregular verbs. Dare, stare, andare and fare. They are pretty important but we'll see them again. The second group is the most difficult one because it's the group with the most part of irregular verbs. Even in this case, we'll see them again, but if you have to conjugate a verb ending in ere, you must pay more attention. To the second group belong also verbs ending in arre, orre, or urre. All those verbs derived from Latin, and in Latin they ended in ere. I don't know why they changed it, but don't worry, they're not so much. Even the third group has more irregular verbs, but for now, let's go back to infinitive tense in general. As you noticed in the screen with all Italian verbs, we have present infinitive tense and past infinitive tense. The present one is the dictionary form. Past one instead is a compound verb form with the infinitive tense of the two main verbs essere and avere and the past participle of the verb you want to use. That said, write it if you want, but leave it aside for the time being. I'd like to let you at least with the sum of the most used verb at the infinitive tense. Translate them so you can start to create your personal verbs dictionary. Today the video is over. Please keep reading and watching movies in Italian and keep following my channel and my Instagram page. Ciao!